This is a video showing how to calibrate a pH sensor within SparkView 4.0 and beyond. I've previously paired a pH sensor to my occurrence of SparkView. I'm now going to remove my pH electrode from its storage bottle and then briefly rinse the electrode and then pat dry briefly, very gently, with a paper towel to remove any of the excess water. Going to access my calibration menu by selecting on the hardware setup menu and then selecting the crosshairs to the left of the gear on the line with the pH. I can see that I'm going to be calibrating my pH sensor and I see that I've got the two point uh, method here and I'll click on continue. By default, the standard value that's listed first is a pH 4. That's actually the type of uh, pH buffer solution that I have, but if you wish to change it, you can highlight this and then place in a different value depending on what the buffer solution is that you have. Again, the buffer solution that I have is a four uh, buffer solution, so I'll enter that in there. Down below, you'll see an active sensor value that's read in millivolts from the sensor. I'm going to place my electrode into my buffer solution. You may have to uh, move the cap for the storage bottle up farther on uh, the pH electrode. Once it is immersed in the solution and wait for it to stabilize, it looks like it's done that pretty much here, I'll go ahead and click on set calibration. Now going to remove my electrode from my buffer solution, recap the solution so that it doesn't get spilled, and then I'm going to again rinse my pH electrode and then blot dry so that I don't dilute my second pH solution with the deionized water. Now going to immerse my electrode into the second solution. In this case, it's a pH 10 solution. Dunk that in there and wait for a moment here and wait for it to stabilize. Again, this is the value in millivolts that's being read directly. We'll wait for it to stabilize. And once that's happened, we'll go ahead and scroll on down and hit set calibration and I'll click OK. My pH electrode is now ready to be used, but before I place that into any solution I'm going to measure, I'm again going to rinse my electrode with deionized water, and then I will blot it dry before usage so that I am not diluting the solutions that I will be measuring. 